Hey, howdy everybody, and welcome back to part 28 of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl Let's Play. And yeah, last time we left off, we got here to Sunny Shore City. I'm going to stop and do a little shopping trip real quick, because I don't think we've uh, really supplied ourselves in quite some time. So I'm just going to check and see how good we're doing on stuff. That's fine. That's okay. Um, Hyper Potion. Uh, about like two more. We're not going to need them much longer, I don't think. So I don't want to stockpile them. Uh, revives. We'll get one for now. Because we are about to do the gym and get a ton more money, so I don't want to buy too much. Escape Rope is fine. Super Repels. We'll buy more of those. And like I always say, always buy Super Repels. <clears throat> super Repels are not Max Repels. I'm not sure if they changed it in this generation or not. I'll check. But, um... Yeah, it's usually 200 steps and then 250. It lasts longer. Well, they changed the wording on it here, at least. I don't know if you guys heard my cat just falling through the blinds. It was nice. Um, but... Uh, it says an item that prevents any... It last, it's just it says it lasts longer. It doesn't say 50 steps, you know, uh, more. So I, I might check it out. We'll see. Um, I might test that. I'll buy one to test later on. It's the only time you'll see me waste my money on a super... I mean, a max repel. Always buy super repels is the, uh, the lesson to be learned here, though. Uh, at least in the older games. And let's check out this place. What is this? Selection of the world's stickers. So look at that. Uh, this was the seal market I was talking about. And we have not made Garchomp one yet, so... Oh, whoa, what? <laughs> like, can I just get it on every one of my Pokemon? Hold on, I gotta check this out. Oh, whoa, what? Okay, cool, hold on. Oh, it went down. Whoa, that's pretty sick. Well, I guess all my Pokemon can get it, right? So I'll cut back to when all my Pokemon have gotten their uh, effort ribbon. All right, now that everyone got their little uh, trophies there, let's head on over to run the market. And, oh, he didn't sell me anything. Will you sell me? Are you the sticker merchant? Oh, he is. Okay, how many do I... Does it not tell me how many I have? Can I buy, like, a ton of each? I buy 99 of each. I'll buy, like, I'll buy, like 20 of each, because it's only 1k for these ones. So, it can't be that bad. Maybe I'll use it. Maybe I won't. Maybe I should only buy like 10. I think for the rest of them, I'll buy like 10. Why don't, he's just, it's just it changes, right? So I don't want to miss any. Oh. I want to buy. Got last, the last two are 100 a piece, which isn't bad still. Buy it. And the ribbon sticker, okay. I don't think we're, right, these are the, I'm assuming these are bigger ones because they're more expensive, but I could be wrong. Yeah, that's kind of neat. But yeah, there's the sticker merchant. Apparently it changes every day, so something you can do as a daily. I never thought about that, so now I gotta go hold my diamond after this episode and check that out myself because I never, I never stopped by and I love seals. Um, so we're gonna head over to the gym. I believe you get another ribbon up here? Yeah, if you just come here and like talk to her with your Pokemon, let me check out. Um, I'll do Empoleon, this is my starter. Um, I'll do Luxray, actually. Oh, hello, you're quite the nifty trainer. My husband is a sailor and he's off working somewhere far away. I long for the day he comes back to me. All that waiting every day gets to be very boring, though. I know, how about you visit me and I will tell you stories every so often. And yeah, so starting tomorrow, uh, after the day you, you activate this uh, daily event, if you will, um, you can get a ribbon for listening to her stories or something like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's just something if you want ribbons, and I did that on my 4th gen, so. I heard that Team Galactic was up to no good, but here in Sunny Shore, we've never seen any of them around. No. <laughs> a long time ago, there was a boy named Cyrus who lived here. He seemed to shun others who preferred to be the company of machines. He was a brilliant student, I recall. I often wonder what became of him. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> you'd be surprised, maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> There's the Snorlax Mountain, and yeah, let's get on with it. We don't have to. Get, oh wait, we do have to do the lighthouse first. That's right, because we have to um, talk to the gym leader. And we're stop here. We got Thunderstone. If you need that, um, you know, I'm not sure how many of those are in the base game. Yeah, I think there's like two or three. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> my my PC's like <laughs> giving me notifications. But yeah, here's the lighthouse here, and we've got to find Volkner. 
and um, convince him that, hey, we're actually a pretty good trainer and he should battle us and not challenge the Elite Four. <laughs> kind of weird, no? So you're the latest challenger up against the Sunny Shore Gym? Alright, I've decided. If I find you to be weak, I'm going to challenge the Pokemon Lee. I'm all done with renovating the gym, so I don't need to be here. More than anything, I want to have the battle that can throw me again. As the toughest gym leader in Sinnoh, I'm going to unleash everything in my arsenal on you. Okay, Volkner, well, okay. Well, I guess I had question mark. We don't know what to do yet, but yeah. Can we actually check these out? We can! Sick. Yo, I never knew this. I've never done this before. Holy cow. It's very misty. I like that and foggy. That's pretty neat. Wow. And now we're going to head to the gym, like I said. And uh, yeah, I've been pretty busy off camera. I did learn how to RNG. I got my shiny Trico and a shiny Totodile with the cute charm glitch, which works. It's just pretty sick. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple chat outs uh, off of Platinum or whatever if I can. I don't know. I'm not sure how these work. Oh, we got to go up this way. Yeah, I'm going to get a few of those over to Hard Gold so that way I can uh, do the breeding method and stuff with the chat out voices. And to get like guaranteed IVs and shininess, you know. And then I'm also gonna um, do it on Platinum, I think. I think uh, that'd be cool to have my two uh, two of my favorite Gen 4 games uh, with that on there. I would say Soul Silver is my favorite, but you know, after you played Hard Gold, it's pretty good. I like the Lugia cutscene though. Yo, hiya, he's finally come back. He seemed to be feeling upbeat too. I have a hunch that he recognized your toughness right away. I bet he's getting excited over the thought of battling you. Remember what you have to do. Hot shot. Give him a battle that's so hot, it will reignite his passion for battling. Alright, hot shot. I'll be waiting at the Pokemon League. So yeah. But like I was saying, Lugia is my favorite of the Gen 2 uh, legendaries, but... I don't know, something about Heart Gold and uh, the Ho-Oh cutscene with the uh, Kimono Girl is just feels fits more better, I feel. Because that's in their town and everything, whereas Lugia is just in the World Islands and then the Kimono Girls are there. Like, I, don't get me wrong, I wish Lugia still uh, had, like, a opening animation in Heart Gold uh, to make it, like, even more legendary or something, but, you know, this doesn't... I love... I, I don't... I don't know. I feel like, personally, yeah, the Ecutique uh, girl should be with Ho-Oh in the tower because it's in their town, and, you know, Lugia should have something special still. But those are... those, are long, those days are long gone, you know. 2010 was a long time ago. <laughs> but, no. We got a Pachirisu here, so it won't be any... Oh, I forgot we have Luxray in front of the, the ribbon lady that I didn't even get a ribbon from today. So I'm actually going to switch to Garchomp. <laughs> I don't want to teach Earthquake. I feel like um, I waste it. But this is just my last play. But I could also uh, save the TM and give it to my, other, uh, my brilliant diamond copy I have right now. We use, uh, yeah, we use that. But yeah, I've gone back and started playing 4th uh, and 3rd gen now because of the uh, RNG learning stuff, which is pretty satisfying and pretty cool to learn how to do. So I, again, recommend you doing it. I swear it's not a hack. You know, you don't plug anything into your DS. It's all stuff you're doing with your DS, so you don't have to worry about tampering with your technology. It's nothing like that. It's just a couple timers on a program and your inputs, so... It's pretty cool. It's pretty satisfying, like I said. It took me about uh, six hours of learning how to do it to get my first Trico. And that was one that was going to take a while anyway, so... I think I did pretty good. Uh, some guys in the chat were like, Oh man, it took me like... I've been doing it for a week. How are you guys doing this so fast? And I was like, man... I don't know. <laughs> I'm just sitting here at my computer hitting buttons until something works. And it's pretty fun. It's Like I said, it's very satisfying when it comes through. Let's go down here. And... Oh. And I do have a, like I was talking about last episode, or the episode before that, I do have an idea for a series after this one, uh, until we get to, uh, um, Scarlet and Violet. Well, Violet, because, uh, I don't plan on getting Scarlet. I do plan on doing Violet for the channel, because, uh, like I've said many times before on the channel before, I love the way, uh, the little, the futuristic dragon, I don't know his name. I try not to anything up about that stuff, but yeah. Um, he looks cool in his little motorcycle jet mode. I missed her mind. I wasn't expecting that, but at least our, uh, <laughs> at least our guard chop is going Well, I guess it would've been faster, but it's fine. Yeah, do plan on doing Violet on the channel. Don't even worry, guys. But until then, I think I'm either going to do another, um, 
It's either gonna do another run through of Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl with like a challenge rule set, or do that challenge rule set in Legends Arceus. So if you guys are hearing this in the video, let me know if you'd rather see another playthrough of this, or if you want to move on to Legends Arceus. I'm only a little skeptical about doing Arceus because I know there's a ton of catching, like the whole game is finishing the Pokédex, and I've done it. And I think my first playthrough of Arceus, I beat it in under 60 hours, so... I do think it's very achievable, but it's gonna be a lot more editing, but luckily I'm, you know, I'm more okay with doing that nowadays, since, you know, I've started this series, or no, Sword and Shield? It was Sword and Shield, I think, right? No, I learned how to, I learned how to edit at the end of Leaf Green, that's what it was. So yeah, um, been doing it a lot in Diamond and Pearl, so I might do it, uh, for Arceus to make things better on that front, because like I said, I have a challenge rule set I want to do, but on top of that, I do want to catch them all as I come across them, like I did when I first played the game, so... If anything, there might be longer videos, or I'll try to make them shorter videos, and, like, try to learn... I don't know how to speed up images yet, that's the thing, too. I don't know how to speed up clips, so I'm gonna try to do that for Legend of Arceus, so that way, uh... I don't cut out too much, you know? Like, it's just a sped up, like... It'd be a speed up of me catching a Pokémon. Or, like, dealing with the... If I needed to, like, if I was dying too much, too, I remember Avalon killed me a bunch. That was the only totem I had a problem with. I would kind of speed up the uh, the slow parts of me redoing that, or just cutting it out, I guess. But I'd rather just speed it up so you can see it's one cut. You know, I know you can't really be fishy with Pokemon uh, stuff, but I'd rather just have it all in one reel and deal with it later. Uh, like through, uh, like I said, speeding up images. But anyway, I mean, a uh, video. We come on up here. Let's go ahead and switch Garchomp back up front. I keep forgetting to. But also, there we go. And we got a little Pikachu girl here. But uh, yeah, I am excited about that. Either way we do it, I'm excited. Uh, I've been thinking about playing Legend of Arceus a lot lately. And that's where I came up with the uh, the challenge rule set. I kind of um, I kind of really wanted to play it after that. I think it was just an excuse really to play Legend of Arceus. So I might be doing that one. But again, let me know which one you would prefer. If you want to see me do like a, uh, not a Nuzlocke, but kind of, well like a challenge-esque. It's like my own original concept too. So I'm pretty proud about that. Uh, people have probably done it before, but I haven't. I haven't heard about anyone doing it. So. I kind of want to do it. I think it'll be interesting. So, just let me know how you guys feel. Just let me know how you guys feel. Uh, really, Diamond Shining Pearl Challenge Let's Play or Arceus slash Arceus Challenge Let's Play? Because I'm not sure how we would do it in Arceus because, uh, yeah, you don't really uh, battle too many trainers. So. But it'd be interesting. It'd be interesting, I swear. <laughs> Charm is gonna avoid Garchomp, nice. And Dig is gonna take him out. Very cool, thank you, Garchomp. Pikachu again, thanks. That's the only thing I hate about Dig, it's two turns. I wish I could just like one shot one. I could, but these this Pikachu kinda scare me. I know we probably still are trying to probably attempting static right now. I don't know why my nose is so stuffed today. I, until I start recording, my nose is completely fine, I swear. I have no idea. It's every time I get to record. It must be like a, I don't know. My body's just used to it at this point. It's like, oh, we're recording a video? I'm gonna get really stuffy. Sucks. Oh, there's the static. I was scared of it. What we got in the end. I think that's our last Pikachu, though, so we should be scot free and just be able to paralyze you after this battle. And, oh, man, we cured his paralysis anyway. Oh, uh, there's another Pikachu though, so. Yeah, we probably will get it. 30% chance I get So. Maybe we won't. We got lucky the first, like, two Pikachu we are against. And we're. Oh, we only have five. Four PP now. What the earthquake? I mean, dig, so I might wanna go heal after this battle. I might do that. I might do a little cutaway. There we go. Pikachu's been hit. Did we get hit? We did not. It appears we did not. We got 984 Poké Dollars for winning, but yeah, like I said, I'm gonna cut away, heal up, and I will meet you guys back here in a second. And we're back! So yeah, we took a detour to the Pokémon Center, and we're all refreshed, so let's heal into the- I mean, head, <laughs> not heal, into this next room, and take on the rest of the trainers. And hopefully we get the Volkner. Uh, we're almost out of the, out of the woods, uh, before we're heading to the Pokémon League, at least. And then, uh, doing a few more bits after that, don't worry, we're not completely over after the Elite Four. Um, we got a bit of post game we can do surprisingly. I know it's Devon and Pearl, uh, but you know, still something, right? And I want to do it on the channel as well. 
uh, for the old completion of the series. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do all of... Um, well, we'll get to it. I don't want to spoil too much. Yeah. There's, decently, there's a lot of... I mean, there's some decent stuff to still do. Uh, and I'll even record my diamond stuff to show you guys some of this uh, footage as well. Because I haven't uh, done some things in that save that I could have done a bit a while ago. So I think it'd be pretty cool to check out. Um, you know. So I can't wait for that either. We definitely got some good stuff to show after the Elite Four. Don't even worry. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Crunch on Luxray? Yeah, for sure. Um, oh yeah, because we want to get rid of it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think we're gonna get rid of Volt Switch. I'm gonna be real. I know it's really useful for switches and stuff, but yeah, I'd rather have Crunch. I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I wouldn't. It might come a useful Elite Four, but I, I don't think it will. Um, but yeah, shouldn't be shouldn't be too too much in trouble. <laughs> but let's continue on. Oh, wrong way, right? I think we're going the right way. Some of these do get a little tricky at the end, but that's just if you're not paying attention and just going through it. So don't worry. If you just take a second, breathe, calm down, and look at it, you'll be pretty uh, you'll be pretty surprised at how fast you hone in on the uh, the solution. So hopefully, I need to, I'll be able to take out my own advice there in a second if I get too uh, overwhelmed or confused. Finally, a non-electric type Pokemon though. So. Donkeys are dig right here. Looking really nice. <laughs> and Cadaver's of course gonna faint. He has way too much power, I feel. And Raichu! Yeah, we'll stand. <laughs> Done. There's one last thing we have to do though. We're going to Elite Four. Well, I'm personally going to do. You don't have to, but I'm going to do it personally uh, because, I, like I said, I like having my Pokedex complete. So that being said, a few of you keen players might know what I'm up to after this gym. But, yeah. but you'll see. You'll see. Don't worry. Be a little, uh, a little out of sequence, I feel, but it's fine. Five thousand for winning. That's not bad. Maybe we just spent that on seals, so... <laughs> Come on up here. Oh, look at that. Another rocker. Guitar player? Guitarist? What are they called? Guitarist Preston. Hey. <laughs> Alexia. Very cool. So I know this guy doesn't have static. Um, wait, we came up... I used, I used Dig on a couple Alexias back there, didn't I? Yeah, probably didn't have to do that. Oh wait, Intimidate though? Maybe. But I'm still going to use Dragon Claw and Staff and uh, see what happens here. Because we have 15 of those and only uh, 8. Oh yeah, we're still good. We're still good. I can't believe I didn't uh, catch that earlier. <laughs> yeah, we give this Dragon Claw and Staff those Pokemon. Yeah, we'll, st yeah, we'll stay in. <laughs> the Barrel? Nice. Literally a Water type. I do like the gym leaders in this game. I, I mean, not gym leaders, but maybe uh, the Elite Four and this gym. Because, like, he doesn't... Spoiler alert. He doesn't have all Electric-type Pokemon. You see what I mean? But Flint also, he doesn't use all Fire-type Pokemon. His theme is that, I guess, he can use the Fire moves. You know what I mean? But I get Elite Four usually means you are a master of that type, and your Pokemon reflect that. But, uh... Flint and Vulcan here don't really follow that rule, but if they do, they do it in a good way. I feel. I feel like more Pokemon, like people of high stature in the game, should be like this. They shouldn't have monotypes. They should be able to have like an actual decent team, you know, and not be handicapped by the fact that we, the player, have to like beat them. And I'm gonna be right back. I know what I did. Uh, well, I guess not. We'll just go together because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know what I did. So I don't want to cut it. But yeah. I do wish more Pokemon trainers were like that. They had like actual good coverage, and then their Pokemon's also, I mean, Pokemon, Pokemon, either way you want to do it, um, actually know better moves. They're not just monotype of decent Pokemon. Um, am I not doing this right? Alright. I don't think I'm doing it right. 
I messed something up. Oh, how did I miss that? How did I miss that? There we go. Crazy. And Ace Trainer Zachary. Okay. Steel Eggs. Alright, so we're gonna have to use Dig here. Unless I just switch, but now I'm gonna use Dig. Because we don't need we don't need any Digs for the uh, the gym leader. I think this is the last trainer we have to fight too, so it doesn't really matter. All in all. Yeah, I'm very excited about the upcoming stuff I have ideas for this channel. I'm really excited. I hope you guys are. Um, I, I think they're going to be pretty fun. Uh, hopefully it starts something new, too. Hopefully it starts a little something new out there. I doubt it will. I, don't, I doubt it the forest will catch the blaze. We could dream. <laughs> and our speed fell. I don't think that's going to matter, though. I think we're really, we're really fast. My jolly nature says otherwise. Oh, we use crunch. Yeah, sweet. What is it? Hello, Bozo. Knockout Steelix there with a crunch. And Miss Magius leveled up. Metacham. Um, who wants to go off? I guess we'll keep. I didn't realize Garchomp was so under level compared to the rest of the team. <laughs> That's so weird. So I just keep him out and we'll hit with the Dragon Claw and see what happens. Still faster. And goodbye, Metacham. Astron's level 57, catching up to our Empoleon there out of nowhere, like what? <laughs> uh, I don't think Bastion's going to be as useful as I hoped him to be, but hey, he might be the MVP here. I don't want to talk bad about him. Uh, let's come on down here. I think we want to do... Yes, that's what we want, and then we go up here. I believe that's what we want. Right? Oh, shucks. I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I'm going to test it. I'm going to test it. If it messes up, we'll just reload our save. So save here if you're following me. I think I messed it up. Oh, wait. No, that was it, wasn't it? Oh, no. I messed it up. Okay, so we're going to cut. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. So we are back down here. I think we want this one to be the only one, maybe? I think that's how it has to be. So, let's check it out. It is, sweet, okay. I did a little goof there, but we're all good, we're all good. Uh, let's check our Pokemon out, they all looking okay. Um, I think we are gonna heal up our, oh no, we'll give him a Moo Moo Milk. Less expensive, right? Here you go, buddy, refresh. And we're gonna save, of course. I don't think we really need to, but it's fine, it's fine. And go ahead and battle this guy. Alright, Challenger. It's not often a trainer manages to make it all the way here to challenge me. And when they do, they've all been boring battles. I didn't break a sweat beating them. I'm Volkner, the gym leader. They say I'm the top leader in Sinnoh, but... Anyway, I guess we better get this done. I hope you're the trainer who will make me remember how fun it is to battle. And alright, I hope so too, buddy. <laughs> There is Volkner, the electric type gym leader in the center region, and the final one. It's got five Pokemon. Is that five or four? And Raichu. Okay, so I'm, I'm hoping we can outspeed Raichu. It's a very fast Pokemon, but we are EV trained. I just don't know if we have perfect. Uh, we don't have. I know for a fact we don't have perfect IVs. So Let's see if we can outspeed with a dig. And we do. So his, he's going to try to Volt Switch, but I don't think he can because we run the ground. Right. You surf? Oh yikes, dude! That can Pikachu just learn surf nowadays? Is that like not a secret move anymore? That's pretty cool. And we did knock him out. I was scared because that berry, but we're good. We're all good. A little tense here. Had a shuck a berry. And let's see. And Empoleon leveled up at 59. Okay. Hydro pump. No, we're good, dude. We want that accuracy. And Octillery is coming out next, so we are going to throw a Luxray here. Pretty sure Luxray can take him out. Too probably. 
Why should I have like a lightning rod? I don't think you can have lightning rod though. I don't think it's a Pokemon that has that. I know, I think one of his Pokemon do have that, right? I can't remember now. I'm psyching myself into thinking he has lightning rod on this, and I don't think he can get lightning rod. So, we're gonna go for Spark, it's physical. Hey, we're right, we're right. I don't know why I tried to psych myself into that. I just thought he had a lightning rod Pokemon. I have no idea why. But anyways, this is our artillery out the way. And Ambipom. Okay, Ambipom can be a little a little something else. I think Ambipom has this Vault Switch or is it? It might be Baton Pass. I think he usually vaults, which is into the Ambipom. There's a Cario. And Ambipom. Not one of, I, I don't I honestly hate Ambipom. I guess that's very strong of a word, but I do not like Ambipom. <laughs> Just look at its nose too. Like I feel like if it kept like kind of the same face as Apom, it would have been fine. But um, oh, steadfast. What? I never, I never get flinched, so we never see that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I wish they just kept it how it was, like just a little Apom with two tails. Don't change the nose. The nose really just messes up the whole thing. I feel. And he's probably gonna potion up here, um, but he uses Berry, which sucks. That definitely would have been a one shot. Thunderbolt out here, showing his electric side of things. And uh, we'll use an Aura Sphere again. Because, he, yeah, he's got a 4 Restore, but he doesn't have a Barry this time. So we are most likely going to just one-shot this Ambipom and just trash him. And he has one Pokemon left after this, and I think it's uh, his signature Pokemon Luxray, I believe. So, you know, very cool Pokemon. I respect his style, his uh, taste, I mean. His Ace Pokemon, it's very cool. But we are going to switch in our, I guess, Ace Pokemon, Garchomp. I don't know, I don't know, because like we should kind of call our starter our ace Pokemon now. I feel kind of bad that like, Garchomp is kind of like my go-to guy right now, and not my starter, but like, dude, we're an electric gym. Like, come on. Here comes this trump card! It's Luxray! Oh, that's a really nice seal. That's really cool. I'm gonna have to look up how to make that. <laughs> Luxray is so good, it deserves an amazing seal. I don't think ours is bad, but again, we don't have a lot of seals. It's just hearts. That's all it is. It's hearts and petals. This is actually like, I wish we had electric stickers. I think we get them from him actually. So we can have them more. And that's what I, I don't have any electric stickers to add to Luxray right now, so that's why I haven't really done it. But after this, we're definitely gonna have some cool stuff to mess around with. And on top of that, I'm gonna be making Garchomp the seal as well. So we'll see that in the next episode, hopefully. Uh, we stay in front of Ice Fang, oh no. But it doesn't, it doesn't get us. It doesn't freeze us, that's good too. So I think we're gonna try to go for the outspeed and hit him with a Dragon Claw Stab. Let's see. Yes, we do. Good one, Garchomp. Good game, Volkner. It was a blast. Trust me. I had fun. I hope you did, too. I hope you're not going to quit. You're, very, you're a very good gym leader, dude. I don't know why you, you haven't been beat before. And I, I mean that as a compliment. Because uh, you're a good gym leader. You got 12,000 for winning, so let's see what he says. <laughs> Alright, that was the most fun I've had in a battle since, well, I don't know when. It also made me excited to know you and your team will keep battling to greater heights. This is your 8th gym badge. You've earned it. And look at that. Oh, my badges. I haven't washed them. Ugh. I gotta do that. <laughs> the Beacon Badge. Very cool. Very nice. Thank you, Mr. Volkner. I appreciate it. Waterfall is going to be key to go in the Pokemon League. Also, because you collected all your badges, any Pokemon at any level will now obey you. Without fail. I know. Uh, I want you to take these two. And we got the stickers from Volkner. Probably some good electric ones. And TM57, which I think is Volt Switch. Or is it Thunderbolt? It's Charge Beam! I'm wrong on both fronts. And Charge Beam is... It's pretty alright. It's not great. But we can come out down here and leave this gym finally. And uh, I guess we're going to head towards the Pokemon League. Very cool. Very nice. So let's get out of here. Um, I guess I could just cut to when we get out. Oh no, we don't have to. Because all the tracks are set to leave this place very quickly and efficiently. So. I guess there is one more thing we need to grab before we uh, call it a show though. And that is the TM Waterfall that we heard from. So I'm going to show you guys how to get that. And then next time, I think we're going to be after the Pokemon League. Uh, I'm going to think about it off camera. See if there's anything else uh, we need to do first. But, of course, heal up. Because I'm just going to go to uh, TMHM and log off here. But, you know. <clears throat> my, my name is Jasmine and I'm a gym leader. Oh, I'm sorry. Not the gym leader of this city. I'm a gym leader in the Johto region. Um... It would be nice if you knew about the Johto region. Oh, that's the city's gym badge. You must be very good. Um, please take these two. And we got TM99. 
waterfall on the Hidden Moves app allows you to climb up waterfalls and from the surface of water. Oh, each of those machines contains waterfall. If you use, if you use waterfall from the Poke Etch, you'll be able to get to the Pokemon League. Um, uh, I don't know how to should say this, but good luck. And yeah, so that's the gym leader from the Johto region, Jasmine. So very cool. Uh, back in the day, this came out, of course, before Hard Gold and Souls Ever were even like announced. So it's pretty cool seeing her. And like, plus the Happini egg we got there, and um, what was it? Hard Home City. Uh, another nod to Johto and Pokemon eggs, but very cool. But anyways, that is where we're gonna end this episode off for today. Remember, guys, go back and heal the Pokemon Center uh, on your own time. But yeah, I'm going to leave you guys off here. So as always, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Share around with your friends if you think they'd also enjoy this type of content. And as always, I've been the Pokemon Cowboy here with you today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.